All right, so um, you'll install IDWorks onto your PC um, with the technology that IDWorks gives you. And you'll notice that there are three icons. There's the library, which is the user guide to the software. There's your intro designer, where you can create projects for your card designs. And lastly, there's IDWorks production, data entry and production of your cards. So we're gonna go into designer. It's gonna take some time. Download. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that you say go into designer and you create a new project. So name it card sample ID and I'm going to choose portraits. Okay, so here we can see that this is the card that we will be creating. Um, and you'll do all your variable data over here. So what you'll do first is that you will create some names on your card. So what I would want you to do is create a first name and a last name as well as a photograph and then um, either your ID or uh, barcode. So you'll right click and then say insert text field. And in this text field, you'll double click on it to go into properties and type in first name. There's the field name. The sample data is also first name. All right. Then I would like you to apply and well, select center as the alignment. And you can also change the appearance. Um, I'm going to change the font of mine. To later. Old. It's okay. And you can change the color or the foreground color. So I'm going to click apply. And okay. So you can see it's centered and yeah, that is what I need. Then um, I want to create a nail field, insert a text field for the last name. So I'm going to double click on that and name the field as last name. And the sample data must be last name as well. And you're going to center the alignment and I'm going to make the appearance of my text. Okay. Right, okay. Okay, great. Next, I want to add a photo field, so I'm going to double click. So I'm going to add a photo field. And yeah, I'll say insert photo field. Okay, so it comes with this one, which is great. Then I'm going to double click on her and then just name it photo. And the border will be, okay, so now I will click border. And what I want to do is I want to check display border and check round. So you can also change the color of the line um, of the border, but I'm not going to do that. So yes, so I'm going to click apply and okay. As you can see, there's a round border around her. Then I'm going to insert a static graphic field. So now I want to insert my logo. So static graphic field. Okay. Um, ideally, I would like to put the logo at the top. So I'm just going to rearrange. So I'll double click on this and then browse in the PC for the photo. So I put in my downloads. Interest logo, 
open that. Then I want to change the field name to logo. Right, and then I'll apply. So you can obviously change the sizing as well. Um, and I want to change it to original graphic size, so I get the DPI as that. So I'll click apply and OK. So as you can see, it's very large. Um, I'll we'll definitely make it smaller. So you'll just have to play around and make sure that you're getting it to the adequate size that you need it to be. Alright, so this is just an idea. So next I want to center my fields horizontally. So I'll right click and say center fields horizontal so they're all aligned. Horizontal. Um, center fields horizontal. Right click, center fields horizontal. Okay, great. So you can see it's all horizontal now. Um, I'm now going to add the card to the production form. So I'll um, now go to Tools and then Add Card Fields to Production Form. I'll select All, click OK, and then say Yes. OK, and then OK. OK, great. So it's now added to my database. Um, what I'll do next is that I'll right click onto the production form and I will then insert a text field. So I'm just going to put it here to the side for now. Um, so right now I want to create my ID. And what I'll do is that I'll double click on it. And I want to name the field name as ID. This field is just going to be a random five digits. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then what I'll do next is that I want to position the alignment left at the moment and I want you to click into operator prompt, prompts. Okay, so I want you to say prompt text to be ID and I want the position to be top left. left top. Um, so you can change the color of this ID if you would like um, and you can also change the font which I'll do to laser. Okay. So now I'll click apply and click OK. Okay, so as you can see the ID is now at the top left. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, so you can position it as you like. And then next I want you to add the logo. So I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna add a static text field insert. Then I'll move this to be aligned over here. And then I want you to double click on this and change the field name to logo. And display the text as interest group. This is my icon. And I want you to align it to be center. All right, so you can also change the appearance. Um, so I'm gonna change it to later again. You can also change the color as well. So I'm going to say apply OK. So as you can see, it's now in the center. All right, so the card design is now complete for your production form. So now what I want you to do is go to Tools, then Add Production Form Fields. Okay. I want you to select All um, and then click OK. OK, great. Um, then what I would like you to do is then select the icon on the right that says ID Works Production. So it's this little icon with a card looking design and ID so called ID Works Production. So I want you to click that. Alright, so I would like you then to create a new or open selected project. Okay, great. So as you can see, um, our variable data has allowed us to create the first and the last name as well as the ID okay, and your employee photo. So we have a mag stripe at the back. And All right, so now we want to 
print the card so you'll go to the top left and you'll click file and then print card okay so here you will then choose xps card printer uh, make sure that you've connected it by via usb or via your network and then um yeah so your data card printer is loaded on the pc so press ok now we're waiting for it to print <laughs> 